Here at the Polo Ground Towers, NYCHA residents over 65 years old have their shot at getting the increasingly scarce COVID vaccine. Henry Coxel just beat the virus last month, so he was one of the first to get vaccinated this morning. The 78-year-old hopes his neighbors set aside skepticism and get it too. But most people, they, they got so much foolishness going on. People spreading so much uh, false rumors about everything. You know, and uh, it's hindering the progress. The NYPD helping give hundreds of injections today and tomorrow here and at a NYCHA development on Staten Island. We have NYPD doctors, nurses and paramedics on staff helping with the vaccination. The city has been working to target seniors without access to technology and in underserved communities. We have some residents that may not have the proper equipment at home, computers or laptops get the paperwork so it is available here. Among 160 vaccination sites citywide, there are eight at NYCHA complexes offering shots this weekend at places the governor calls healthcare deserts. We practically need this, you know, there's too many people dying every day. As supplies could run out next week, public housing advocates are demanding a better plan. The plan should have been, how do we hit those communities that were hardest hit? Now we've um, we only have about 100,000 remaining. Well, the vaccinations continue right here tonight and tomorrow. We are told there are still some appointments left. They have 500 spots tomorrow at the polo grounds here. Right now, there are 7 million New Yorkers that are eligible to be vaccinated, but at the rate that they are handing out these doses and the supply that they are getting from the government, the city says they should run out by next Thursday. We're live in Washington Heights. I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.